Hey, it's Tara here. I just kind of got up from a nap and stepped away from some packing. Wanted to film a video for you guys. Um, I'm moving back to my hometown from uh, Las Vegas, so I live in Portland right now. And just in a few days, I will be moving back with my boyfriend to Las Vegas. Um, Portland just got a little bit too expensive for us. Uh, our apartment's really tiny and uncomfortable. And it's just not worth it to live here anymore. So we're gonna go back to Vegas, kind of hit the reset button there, and um, make some money, rent like a nice house for the amount we pay in rent here, and have a lot more room, have a dog, have air conditioning, which is probably my main motivator for moving. My apartment right now does not have AC or heat. Um, in the summer, it just traps in all the heat, and in the winter, it traps in all the cold. It's very wackadoo and very uncomfortable, and um, I'm very much looking forward to having an AC again. So yeah, enough of that. Um, I thought I would just share a little workspace tour um, before I moved, so this is not my setup, gonna be my setup for very much longer. I'm probably gonna pack this all up in the next day or so. So I thought I would film it before and just kind of see what it looked like before, and then probably do an after once I'm settled in to my home in Vegas. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So I have my main desk here. I can't really go uh, far enough back because there's boxes behind me, but this is my main desk here. It's one of those Ikea desks. I forget the name of it. It's like the secretary desk. And then I have a secondary desk over here that I just recently got because I ran out of room. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff over there. Um, you can see the windows. I have black curtains over them usually because we try and keep the sun out of here. And then I also have um, a little filing cabinet and a little paper organizer thing. I'm not really sure. Anyway, so my main desk, um, I used to have sh uh, shelves. I used to have doors um, on this part here, but because this is my filming <laughs> setup, I have a handy dandy little clampy clamp and a piece of wood that was like a shelf from this part over here. Um, so I just hang that over so you can just look directly. My phone can just sit on it, hang over the edge and look directly down onto my workspace since I usually do those types of videos. Um, so since I put this on here, I couldn't shut the doors anymore and it was very annoying, so I just took the doors off. Yeah, so the top shelf, um, you have these boxes here. Those obviously have maps in it. I don't think anything's in this one. I took a bunch of stuff out and moved it into my filing cabinet, so I just kind of keep those up there. I don't usually use the map box that often. This is kind of the shelf where things come to die and never be used again, and I forget about everything that's up here because I never look at it. So you have some scissors, some rubber bands, postcards, my scale, um, rubber stamp cutting stuff, paper clips, some envelopes in the back, those are airmail envelopes, and yeah, so I don't use anything on that shelf really. Um, over here I have paper scraps, so they're just in like one of those Ikea magazine file things. These are my stencils. Um, this is the easiest way that I can keep them. I don't, I wish I had a better solution because it's very annoying in there. And then I have scrapbook paper pads here, not a lot. Random rubber stamps, these are mostly stuff that I've carved or random ones that have been given to me. So I'll just keep them all in this little jar. Um, I don't use this really ever, it's just kind of here, little paper or circle punch. Uh, deli paper, which I love and use all the time. I have some old Michaels tape. I think this is probably at least five years old. I mean, probably at least seven. Um, I never use them anymore, but they're really cute. I should use them more. <laughs> uh, I have some other tape over here, some decorative tape here. Uh, station casinos represent, yeah. If you ever go bingoing, that's fun. And then some twine and ribbon and stuff. Woohoo! I don't really use that stuff ever. And this is my main shelf. I have a light here when I'm when it's dark out and I need to see what I'm working on. Um, I have paper clips and push pins there. A handy little stapler here. That I got a thrift store for one whole dollar. I never took the tag off. I have some fountain pen ink here. That was on another shelf somewhere else that I put over here because I don't want to pack it up just quite yet. Um, I have this little IKEA shelf thingy. I really enjoy that. It's um, kind of handy to be able to put something in a shelf and put stuff on top and underneath. And here I have the alcohol inks in the little blender pad thing. I have my um, 
wax stuff, my wax seal, lighter. I also have some embossing powder in here, anything kind of like heat related, I guess. Um, some sprays, I have my handy dandy water spray bottle and then some color mists. Um, and then down here I have the alcohol blending solutions, some glitter mist sprays, they're too tall to fit on top so that's what I have down there. And then this random glue. Um, I have this mug here that has all my Sharpies and markers like that. And then some markers back here. I have some stamps, some clear stamps, and then my favorite stamps in the world, which are these uh, sign language stamps. Those are my favorite. I have my date stamper here and in this little pouch. I have some twine, hot glue gun sticks, and this like label maker tape. I'm running low. I need more. And rubber stamp ink. Stamp ink? I don't even know what it is called. Uh, these are, this is the set I got from Stampin' Up! And then just a bunch of random colors that I have over here. And then I have little square thingies for the clear stamps. Um, and then this is my main workspace. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh, hey, here it is. <laughs> so I have my, what is this called? It's the um, craft mat, so you can just easily wipe it up and everything. And then I have washi tape everywhere, some markers over here, because why not? Um, these are all my pens. I have like jelly pens in here, just colored pens, markers, and glitter glue, glitter stuff. What is this? It's not glue. It's just like glitter stuff. That's fun. Um, my cool little label maker, which I love. So there this one. And then back here, I have another little, little another little IKEA shelf. Um, circle punch. I have like confetti in these for shaker pockets if I ever want to. These are my favorite punches. That's the scallop one, and this is the other one. And then I have these like Kia jars with um, some twine and just random random ribbons and stuff. I don't really ever use those either. And then over here, I have some tape, some glue, some tape, some glue, some tape, some letter opener right here. I got this from like the scrap store. I love it. I don't even care. Um, I don't really don't really feel like going through all of that here. It's really just kind of random. I got some stationery, some envelopes, some fake marble paper that I did, just random paper, pocket letter sleeves, you know, all that jazz. This is just some more random stuff. I find stuff and I just put it somewhere. I don't know. Uh huh. And then some star confetti stuff here. This little drawer thingy. I have whiteout and tape and random stuff in here. Then this is kind of my shaker pocket drawer. I got all sorts of sequins, glitters, and stuff. Just kind of packed in there. It's in a particular order, not really, but it's in an order where the drawer shuts, so I'm not going to move it around. And then some embellishments here. You know, all that stuff. Fun, fun. Oh, that's cute. I think somebody gave me that. Um, and then over here I tucked my little <laughs> terrible paper cutter some more paper uh, in my Martha Stewart envelope punch dealy dally. I like tucking stuff in there and then I forget about it. Yep. That's me. And then my second desk. So this is just like a white Ikea desk. I have my handy dandy tools here, the fuse tool here, and my heat gun heat tool here. And then all of my paints. I have these wipes here from Winco. Those are always really nice to clean up, just to use to clean up. I like that. Paint brushes and random fasteners. I got some paper clips, some shaped paper clips, sewing pens. I don't know why I have that over here. Um, got some watercolor crayons. I'm recently starting to use those more. I really like them. And then I have some paint here, gesso. Uh, molding paste, some glue, um, taller <laughs> paint bottle, 
These I use for ATCs when I use when I do those. Some little sponge brushes. Got this fun little wallpaper that my old coworker gave me. I love it so much. Got a random bag of some <laughs> postage stamp pens. These are little buttons that I made way, way long ago. Um, this is my little stamp carrier container. I don't know what you call it. I got this from some stationery store. I forgot the name of it um, when I was out in California. So I just keep some stamps here, stamps here. These are all my lower denominational ones and then some more stamps. I am running out of stamps, guys, and I have some letters to reply to before I leave, and hopefully I can do that. I don't know. I have a letter holder here, which I painted purple and gold. I got it from Home Goods, I think. And so I painted it. I don't use it. I don't put letters in it anymore just because I have a different system, but I like the way it looks, so I keep it around. And it also has a pterodactyl on it. So yeah, I like that very much. I have some stuff in the pockets here. These are my vintage stamps and just random random stuff, ruler, you know, marijuana. Um, over here is not really that important. Here's some, over here rather. <laughs> uh, I have some stamps that I've collected. You can't really see because the window, so I got that. And then in here is just like some alphabet punch out thingies. I don't even know. Envelopes. And then I have my two boxes of goodies. So here's just kind of like embellishments. I have stickers and cutouts, die cuts, more stickers. There's some alphabet stickers, labels, more labels. I got bags upon bags upon bags. You know, basically everything that you can use to create book books and mail art and all of that jazz. So I kind of organize these, so this is all like loose stickers and stuff like that. Um, these are, I don't really know what category these would be. I think these are mostly just shapes with like arrows and snowflakes. Yeah, why not? These are all words, so anything that has words or phrases on them. These are alphabet cutout die cut things. And these are just kind of random mishmash, mishmash. Tags and number die cuts. So, you know, it's handy to find any things still not organized so you don't, aren't just digging through a big old pile of crap. And these are all my scrap papers. So, anytime I do any sort of projects, if I have paper left over, I just kind of put it in here and hopefully it'll get used up one day. Spoiler alert, it definitely will not. And yeah, and then I also have all of my doilies in here just because I use those kind of as scraps anyway. And to the side of the desk here, sorry for the lighting, it's terrible. I have my alphabet stamps. So I organize this. This is probably my favorite thing ever. I organize this so you have, you know, A and B, C, D, E, F, G, H. All of that. And so all of my different sets I combine together and just organize them by letter. And that way it makes it way easier for me to use them. And if I want to mix them up, then I can do that. And it's just way easier than having a bunch of like blocks of alphabet stamps hanging out. It's just so much nicer and easier to go through it, in my opinion. You don't have to worry about like putting them back in like the correct little spot in their block. And here are more posted stamp pins. So I went on like a thing years ago where I just made a bunch. I have a button maker, so I have all, I had all these like vintage postage stamps. So I just made them all into buttons. I was planning on selling them on Etsy and then I just never did. So maybe one day I'll do that. We'll see. Maybe when I get to Vegas I'll list some of those. That'll be nice. Alright, and then lastly here I have my paper organizer filing thingy dingy. Um, so up here is to reply. So all the letters that I have to reply to. I got some already here that I've done and then these ones I still have to do. And then I have to photograph, which is really to scan now. So all the letters that I've replied to or don't necessarily need a reply, swaps and stuff like that. I keep here until I scan them in. I scan all of my incoming mail um, into my computer and organize it by the person that sent it. 
owns it. And I also keep um, Excel spreadsheets. Uh, we won't get into that. Um, but yeah, so I scan everything in. I used to take pictures of everything when I had a blog and I used to post them on my blog, but I don't do that anymore. So that is not to photograph, it's to scan. And then I also had to file. I used to, before I ran out of space, I had like an accordion file of of mail. So all my incoming mail was filed by the um, place that it was sent from. So like state country or whatever. Um, but I don't do that anymore because I don't have space. I just keep all of my mail in these two little boxes right here, all of my other mail. So that's, um, this is just a bunch of paper towel, paper towels that I've used, deli papers and stuff that I can reuse until they're like wads of whatever that I have to throw away. All right. And then I have my filing cabinet. The bottom cabinet is all of my mail art stuff. So here it is. This is organized by type, I guess. I don't really know. Um, how to say, how to explain it but so like I have anatomy animals backgrounds maps I have miscellaneous for the truly miscellaneous objects I have I think this is people so people places plants and space so I just um, every book that I've owned magazine anything that I use for mail art and I used to like thumb through and cut up I went through everything I had, ripped out the pages that I wanted, the pictures that I wanted, and I organized it into this filing system. And it's just so much easier for me because I think more in terms of like type of what I'm looking for. I know what I want when I'm making mail art or whatever. So to be able to just thumb through um, a specific category and find what I'm looking for is so much easier to me than thumbing through all of my books and magazines and everything like that. So I definitely would suggest it if you have a lot of books and magazines that you use to create your art. It's so nice. It's so nice. Um, I can't, uh, I'm just in love with it. I just love everything about this. So yeah, that is my space. Um, yeah, it's won't, you know, I'm packing it up, like I said, within the next day or so. So yeah, just thought I would give a little view of my workspace before I packed it all up and had a new one and then we can compare um, from Portland to Vegas I will have a lot more space in Vegas so I think it will be a lot better um, won't feel as cramped but yeah I'm super sweaty now since like I said I don't have AC and I <laughs> took my sheet off my window and I'm walking around and doing all this stuff so anyway hope you enjoyed watching the video thanks bye